hey guys welcome to blenny hello today i'll be teaching how to make this beautiful kimono gown with two pockets it's a very beautiful gown i'll be taking you through the process please if you are new to my channel or you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button to subscribe i post new content every week so please click on the subscribe button and do give this video a thumbs up and drop your comment in the comment section so we'll go straight to the drafting of this dress i folded my fabric into four and uh, the first line is my shoulder line that's my waistline and so and that's the length of the gown so for the shoulder, you are going to um, um, measure from the middle part of the neck of your sh of your client's shoulder down to wherever the client wants the sleeve to end. So from the middle middle of the neck down to where the the client wants the sleeve to end, which is a very short sleeve, is seventeen inches. So I'll go ahead and mark that. Remember, our fabric is on fold in. That's into, I folded it into four. So I've, I've marked the 17 inches and I'll just go ahead and do a shoulder slope of about one and a half inches. So I will slope it down to meet the one and a half inches. So if you are through with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the neck, uh, the neck uh, circumference. So... I'll go ahead and measure three, three and a half inches for the wideness of the neck of the dress, three and a half inches. So for the depth, I'm, I'm just going to mark for um, and the back. I'm just going to mark the back and neck depth, which is one and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and mark the one and a half inches so i'm going to cut both the back and the front remember our cloth is folded into four so i'll go ahead and do that so i have done that so now we are going to determine the wideness of our sleeves so i'm going to take 10 inches from the slanting point down i'm going to take 10 inches as shown in the video so at the waistline I'm going to take the bust measurement, adding two inches to the bust measurement. Or you can add three inches, depending on how wide you want your gown to be. So I'll go ahead and mark, like I told you, the bust measurement you are going to use. So use the bust measurement divided by four, then you add two inches or three inches, depend on how you want, how wide you want your gown to be. So also that applies to the hip line also divide your hip measurement into four then add two or three inches it all depends on you you can add one and a half inches so i'll connect the um, point to meet the the that's the hip line to meet the waistline then also i'm just going to shape it as shown in the video i'm going to shape it down to meet the sleeve so you can go ahead and do yours. So the same measurement I use for the hip line, that's what I'm going to use down to the end of the gun. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'll go ahead and do that at the bottom of the gun and connect it with the hip line. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and cut out the, the unwanted part of the dress. So I will do that now. So I've done that. I've cut out the unwanted part. So the next thing to do now is to remove the inside. That is, remove the back um, back bodies out of it. So I just want to shape the neckline of the front dress. So I've removed the back and I have folded it into the front. I folded the front into two. So at the midpoint of the front, you are going to measure one inch, as shown in the video, one inch. I'm going to measure it down almost to the bust. 
So from the shoulder, you measure um, shoulder, you measure eleven inches down. So when you get when you measure the one one inch down to where the eleven inches is, you are just going to slant it down to meet the shoulder line as shown in the video. If you do not understand, please you can replay the video so you know what I am saying. So you go ahead and slant and slant it as if it's a V shape from that eleven point up. So you slant it down to meet the original neckline that we use for the back line, which is 3.5 inches. So you go ahead and cut out this one and a half inches and that's a um, V shape at the front. So you can see the V shape at the neckline down to meet the 11 inches. You can see it there. So I will just place the front part of the dress on the back part of the dress so you know the front part now since we cut her down one inches it is split into two it's now two piece the front part is now two piece no longer one piece so we, we, we're going we, i'll go ahead and join the shoulder i've placed the front part on the back part so i'm going to go ahead and join the shoulder shoulder to shoulder so i've done that and i lined mine I, that is, I put lining to read. The client wanted me to add lining. So you can go ahead and add your lining to yours before uh, joining shoulder to shoulder. So I've done that and I'll just flip the fabric to the right side of it, which is this. So the, for the pocket, you are going to measure from the shoulder down 18 inches. You're going to measure it down 18 inches. That's when you are going to place the pocket. So the pocket, you are going to cut um, 9 inches by 9 inches. So you are going to fold the, the wideness is just going to be 7.5 inches. Why the depth is just going to be 8 inches. So you can see how it is. So from the midpoint of the front, you just go ahead and measure one inch before placing the pocket on the 18. That's the midpoint of the front. So you go ahead and measure one inch, then you place your pocket. So I'll go and fix my pockets on both sides of my front piece. So I will do that to this side also. So after that, we're just going to cut out a, a very long piece two inches by um one and a half yard or two yard so the wideness should be two inches that's how i cut my two inches that's when folded it is two inches but when unfold when it is not folded it is four inches so you go ahead and do that to yours so i've cut it two uh, four inches by two yard so you can see how i folded it it is now two yard so i'll go ahead and sew this long piece round the 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 mid do part of the front to the neckline to the back neckline then down to the other part of the of the front and um, dress so i will just do that now you can go ahead and do that so please watch the video carefully and you will know understand what i'm doing please subscribe click on the subscribe button if you have not please subscribe to my channel it would i'll be very happy if you do subscribe to my channel and please drop your comment in the comment section and also give this video a thumbs up click on that uh, a like button on my channel so I have sewn it. You can see I've sewn it. So the next thing to do is to join the front piece together. The front piece together. You can see you just flip it over as shown in the video. Then you go ahead and sew. From the shoulder, you are going to measure 7 inches or 6 inches. All depend on you. So after measuring the 6 inches, you are just going to sew it down from... The seven inches or six inches, you are going to sew it down. That's the middle part of the front dress. You are going to join it down. Then um, you flip your uh, fabric together. Then you are just going to join the side. And that will be all for the 
dress and also you are going to fold your sleeve also thank you for watching thank you my 500 plus subscribers please click on the subscribe button if you have not see you in our next tutorial bye